Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. I'm Burning Dog Face. And to be completely honest, I was just kind of enjoying the view. I really like the way the lighting makes it seem like Kratos is intently gazing upon the trees somehow. Last time we went in there and found some treasure, and we went over here and found a purpose in life. So they just realized there was a pot just next to the door. Like that one. Two hack silver we rescued from hell. Two hack silver we rescued from gathering dust for many, many centuries until Odin stumbles across it and spends it on hookers and booze. Now we're up to eight! Just one video alone. I don't think I started the timer. I didn't! That would have been very embarrassing. Yes, there we go. Hey, let's get a comment on in there. Shout out to Derek Floyd. Oops, I almost dropped that on my controller. Actually, let's go into the next room. Yeah, perfect. I was kind of reminded by the Eye of Ra there. Uh, shout out to Derek Floyd who says, If a later game in the series takes Kratos to the Egyptian land of the dead, I think it would be fun if we see him meet Osiris after fighting through the place. And Osiris just sighs, says, I know your deal, and lets him leave without interference. Uh, also, shout out to Scotty Charisma, who, uh... <laughs> I liked that. Uh, we are going to have words about this, as Kratos uh, you know, is menacingly covered in head to toe like a snowman after fighting the, uh, the, the Frost uh, uh, Ancient, that's what it was. And, uh, you know, be going, am I going to have to fight this kid? Which brings to mind the mental image of Kratos preparing to whip out the Belt of Chaos. Oh, no. Oh, and uh, Edric uh, pointed out to me. Was, uh, ooh. I don't mean to zoom in like that. I shout out to Edric, who says, Did you notice that on top of the mountain, Atreus painted the black rune with his own blood? He cut his palm with his knife. I believe this shows that, you know, in that state of mind, Atreus feels invulnerable. I am a god now. Gods don't die, so I can bleed as much as I want. And uh, one I've been meaning to mention for a bit... Oh, actually, it's not this one, but hey, while I'm looking at it, shout out to Mark Hartshorn for uh, informing me that Shazbot was a ref on The Simpsons was a reference to Mork and Mindy from the 70s, where Robin Williams frequently used that word as an alien curse. Like a profanity, I mean. Uh, and, you know, while I'm doing this... Here we go, better visual. <laughs> Uh, Edric also says, Atreus technically... Oh, there's an exchange here. Atre uh, Edric says, Atreus technically broke fate as well. Now that both of Thor's sons are dead, no one will inherit Mjolnir like it was prophesized. So, you know, Ragnarok is definitely changed. If these two keep altering the course of Ragnarok, things will get chaotic. Derek Floyd points out that there is a third option, Thrud, Thrud? Who is, said to, who is said to be the daughter of Thor and Sif, and also named as an ale-serving Valkyrie in Valhalla. Edric replies, in the mythology at least, she's not stated to survive Ragnarok, but if things can be changed now, maybe her fate can too. And finally, <laughs> shout out to Yornik, who left the following comment. I'm just going to read this word for word. Hey, Atreus is a goddamn teenager. So all this mopey bullshit and great rage at the world, in bold, is par for the course. And if Kratos thinks he can handle this now, just wait till his son meets a girl. <laughs> oh dear. But yes, we learned there's something hidden in uh, Tyr's temple. Because we need to find that symbol, which is peace, love, and a bunch of other things together. Unless he was talking with that symbol, which looks like a bunch of other symbols together. And Balder. No? Huh. I keep expecting him to get the drop on us now that we're in the temple. It, oh. Oh, you're not a door at all. You're just an alcove. Boy, before when you saw 
I didn't see anything. You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. Yep. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? You know, for a heartbeat there, when uh, he said that, uh... Well, when I first heard uh, Zeus's voice today and I realized it was a line from the ending I saw yesterday, I wondered for just a moment if past Kratos is going to be, like, pre-recorded lines by, uh, T.C. Carson. But no, no, they just had Christopher Judge uh, re-record them, and that's probably for the best. You know, I have no idea how you do it, but I ki I'd kind of like to see remakes of uh, the classic God of War games like this, if only so we could get more Christopher Judge. <laughs> You'd have to add a lot more to it, though. Okay, I don't see Balder spider manning to the ceiling or anything, so... Let's go the fuck home. Bowhead. Why did you not tell us Balder is the son of Freya? Did you not pick up he on that? Is. It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Boulder and Freya and... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Fred, tell me Balder's vulnerability. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely. I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, or back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here. Yes, lad. You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. <sighs> Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we will find it. Hmm. I mean, I wasn't that surprised, but admittedly, that's because I got a comment informing me that Frigg and uh, Freya were the same person. So, you know, they telegraphed that one. Uh... No, not Jotnar Shrines. Yeah. Prayer to Frigg. There it is. Uh, gave the world her brightest light, young, balder, gleaming god, prior to the Aesir, Odin's son, and heir to Asgard. Yeah, that about sums it up. And again, the version of the myth I read as a kid in the children's book, it was just Baldur's mother. She did not have a name. I was kind of expecting Brock to be dead. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to cheat my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth. Is that... Weird. I'm trying to remember when Scapslag came up. I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? 
Oh, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow, too. Oh, watch, watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, oh, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. The grin on that kid's you face. that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Drago. See, how inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. How is Draugr oil sanitary? Here it is. Nope! Don't forget this. Hell yeah! <laughs> no, quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. It's just nice to see you together. But... Now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. I mean, I thought the thing he was carrying looked like an egg, but... No. I mean, he tried. <laughs> Hell yeah! My brother and me got a new project. Now that we're on speaking terms. I love that. He just teleported in instantly. Finished the sentence. <laughs> what do you want? With the whetstone and hammer you've retrieved for us, Brock and I can construct the Deve Grafiker. Dwarven armor of legend. Hey! We just need three more mythical ingredients before we set to hammer. Which are? Dunno. Armor's pure legend. And the details is fuzzier than a wolver's butthole. <laughs> you expect us to find parts from a legend? Oh, most so near the dwarf king found two of them. Everyone knows that. But when he went looking for the third, poof, he vanished. Maybe he'll find some clues at his stronghold in Konun's guard. And looky here, a Conan scarred entry stone. It's got your name on it. How fucking strange. <laughs> All right, the hail to the king. northwest of here, behind the Svartalfheim realm tower. Large stone structure, creepy atmosphere. You'll know it when you see it. And you're not talking about Vaithar Guard, just so we're clear? Back in action again. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Never think I'd see such a day we was back to building as a duo. But it feels right. Especially for this. Since the used to building on my own all these years, almost forgot how dang useful an extra pair of hands is. I forgot how much easier it is to smelt scap slag with someone else gauging the temperature. This will be our best work yet. Just need a little help from you lot. Something else we can do for you? Nah, no, just... Glad you guys worked it out. Ah. Well, I could say the same to you. Ah. I guess I was getting a bit full of myself. Told him what he needed to hear, how's it sounds to me. Just the same. Oh. I'm sorry for how I spoke to you, Sindri. Do you forgive me? Already have. Aww. Like you said, it all worked out. Now, let us get back to work before I get sentimental. <laughs> This makes me happy. What will it be? Hell yeah! I forgot about that. I wonder if they're bo both going to be at all of them from now on. I will wait to upgrade the uh, the blades for that reason to see if there's still one with just Sindri at it. You know, I did promise. Holy shit! Oh no, Niflheim armor! <laughs> oh god damn it! That's pretty sick looking. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with this one though. Let's upgrade that. Can I upgrade that? No. Yes, it's down here. Fuck. Oh, that's right. I need all kinds of crazy shit for that one. Hmm, don't love that. Mm. 
I'm gonna have to go back to a fucking... A whole dress shop! I just caught that. That's funny. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to Muspelheim for those. Shit. Oh, I couldn't even make these. Who the fuck? I don't remember Evaldi, but... Oh, that was their dad! I think. Alright, that's kinda cool. Oh my god! I just realized all three of these say adds a very small amount of constant health regeneration. Sweet Jesus! Mm -hmm. Oh, I like those. Those are green. Really mash the button, it'll give in. No. Uh, fine. Out of this thing I'm wearing. I can't. Fair enough. Uh, none of these are equipped. That is equipped, but I don't have any perfect Asgardian steel. I'll need to smoke another Valkyrie for that. Oh, I see. Just, mm, sure, sure. No big deal, that. I didn't use that. Nice. Move it on, then. Okay, let me just humor myself real, real quick. one I can remember for sure is, uh, no, not Volunder, nor three. Bonk. I guess technically this entire Let's Play is you guys humoring me. I'm confused. Yep, me too. I always heard that Baldur's mother was Frigg. Aye, Frigg. Well, that's more of a pet name, you see. It means beloved. Aww. Something Odin called Freya after they wed. Out of affection at first, or so I like to believe. As things turned sour, it became a way to manipulate the truth. How so? Odin didn't want Freya, a Vanir goddess, getting credit for anything in Asgard. So anything worthy she accomplished was attributed to Frigg. Like being Baldur's mother. That's right! Freya was Baldur's mother all along. <sighs> it's not his fault, he's been brainwashed. Frigg and Freya. Frigg was Freya all along? Baldur's mother, Odin's wife? It's so hard to imagine her with the Aesir gods, but I've seen it with my own eyes now. Uh, technically, we saw an echo through Baldur's mind. How come we could see his, but Atreus couldn't see mine? Oh, it is just him. Hopefully you'll find some clues about the three legendary ingredients inside this stronghold. Well then. Ready and ready. Okay, that's what they look like now. They get even cleaner, even sharper, and uh, get golden highlights. I like that. Hmm, yeah, no downsides. I think I will go with that. Permanent 15 runic benefit. Working on those is a privilege. And now I'm glad I did this. Upgrade of Blades of Chaos successful. New skills are now available in the skills tab. Okay, rad. Oh, I like that. Chilling Mists of Niflheim, Raging Infernal of Muspelheim. You literally take a piece of the planes of fire and ice to make these things. Bitch. Happy to provide. I didn't think we'd see you out here, since you and Brock got back together. Everything okay? Oh, better than ever. You know, I really think we both grown in our years apart. So how come you're back here? Just catching some fresh air. Look, I love my brother, but he still smells like a fetid dung pile. 
I honestly thought it was just going to be needing some time away from family. But I get it. I get that too. I was going to be all, yep, say no more. I have siblings. But uh, no, no, that's a, that's a pretty good reason right there. All right, back to where we were. Technically, it's not Brock's shop anymore, but whatever. Mimir, why do you have Bifrost crystals in your eyes? A loving gift from the giants. Since I used to do so much traveling between realms, they thought it would be more convenient for me than having a crystal I could lose. Did it hurt? No, because I wisely fortified myself with 16 cups of Billow Maiden's <laughs> Ale. Got so inebriated, I tried convincing the giants to put them in my nipples instead. <laughs> Almost talked them into it, too. Can you imagine? Mimir of the Bifrost teats. <laughs> ah, those were the days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'll stop now. <laughs> I love that. Mimir's sight. When the giants trusted someone enough to help them travel the realms, they'd put Bifrost crystals in their eyes. Tyr had them, and so does Mimir. I am curious about what happened to Tyr. Because, you know, the I, was I was under the impression the first time around that he bled to death and he got his hand bitten off. Apparently that wasn't the case. Where? Oh. This will be our best work yet. Just need a little help from you lot. I believe you. Let's get to it. But before we do that, yes, Talon Bow upgrade. And I want both of you guys to bring this thing to its maximum level. Because I kind of thought it was What's at its maximum team? level. Oh, it just makes it red. It takes the uh, the green away. What's it going to be? Okay, very well. Uh, let's see. Increases arrow damage. Runic summons fully recharged Atreus' quiver with arrows. That's pretty freaking good. All right, son. I think you're ready to handle this. I wasn't sure when you were, you know, shanking people. But you've gotten better since then. You were dead from a distance. Upgrade successful. Upgrade of Talon Bow successful. What else? Um, honestly, I think we're pretty good for the moment. You take care now. Thank you. you better not be fighting with your brother again. Just because he's gotten a little less annoying over the years doesn't mean I ain't got a customer base of my own to keep happy. Oh, yeah? Who's that? Well, you came back here, didn't you? Fair point. <laughs> Step out. Now we just need to figure out what door this key opens. It has to be somewhere around the temple. I mean, you do raise a good point, actually. It was just an image of Tyr walking on nothing. Can we get up there? No, that's right. We checked that. I guess we're going to the Svartalfheim Tower next time. Unless we just go to Muspelheim there and, uh... What am I hearing? Oh, that. Yes, okay. Sorry. Yeah, unless we go to Muspelheim and get some more resources. But then I suppose I'd have to do the no getting hit thing. I should see if you can replay the old, uh, the, the earlier uh, things. Let's farm some uh, Muspelheim materials. Upgrade my crap. But that will have to wait for next time, as the timer has, in fact, gone. I'm Burning Dogface, and it's very good to be back on Midgard. After spending all that time in, trapped in Helheim, you know, without being able to just retrace my steps and go home, I can really appreciate why they called this place The Garden. You know, The Garden in the Middle. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what the name literally means. All right. <laughs> it seems to be a nice and weird spot to do it. All weird and overgrown. <laughs> I'll see you next time, Burning Dog fans. Later!